Tonight, from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Tampa on the return Dare Ogunbowale oh, a good looking return set up here Darry. and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay what I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Four yards. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gives him the first down yardage there. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. On first and ten, here's Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Throwing is Brady on third down. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. So here are the Cowboys now backed up to get this drive started. They'll be led out by the former Mississippi State product, the mobile quarterback, Dak Prescott. I love his mobility, and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness, as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Elliott, toss right. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And he's going to wind up getting this all the way down to the Buccaneers' eight. A big run that time by Elliott. 51 yards on the ground. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now because is he rewarding himself for a great run or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? Here we go now on first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized.
This defense hasn't let them in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. That time, a six-play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Shotgun now for Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. down carry by Jones after one seven nothing on EA Sports seven Buccaneers nothing Pick up of four. Here's second and six. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's McCoy. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. To throw on third down, Brady. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. 
And he's got this down to the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sends in the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. Xavier. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Working from the gun, it's Brady. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary here. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with a quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. And you can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Throwing on first down is Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. Three yards the game there, second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, he'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down. It's Jones, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Shredded him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. On second down, it's Jones, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, Brady. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. The game knocks this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Buccaneers three. 
So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on I was. I was. It sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Bradley. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is Tony Pollard. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now a penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. On first and 10, Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. How about that for a little jolt right before intermission? Talk about taking momentum into the half with you, and so many teams have an emphasis on trying to score in the last two minutes of a half to carry that with them. It's not often talked about scoring on defense, though. That's extra mo. And now they may take the lead into the locker room as well. for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. This one's in the air. Now Pollard. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Please take over first and 10 at their own 20. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Prescott throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. Fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. A second down throw for Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he'll find Lamb. That's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now Greg Zerline. We all remember the 57-yarder that sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away... We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard now Pollard and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 the Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own now come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and fortunate to get points on the board last time they had to hit a really long field goal to do so the kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted mm -hmm. and we can't do that that's a long field goal that they got three points out of they've got to feel good about that and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out yeah now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here we'll see second half starts with a carry by Elliott and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up absolutely love the effort there the ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage nice linebacker play so after the run for no gain here's second and ten out of the gun here's Prescott this to Jarwin 
five yards. Now it's third and five. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Here's Prescott. Steps away to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. from the gun. Brady and a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first down, Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Brady's pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 41-yard line. From the gun, Brady throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for, and it's third and five. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Right there, 54, right there, right to the end. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he is going to have the Bucs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Bucs passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Brady gives this one off to Jones. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Operating from the gun. Brady quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball.
Brady to throw on third and one. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is right down the middle. And the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. Buccaneers 13, Cowboys 10. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. A first down throw for Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lamb. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Elliott. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From just shy of midfield, Prescott got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And they run the option here on first and 10. 20! And he's got some space here. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Offside. Defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty? I don't would even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Reserve line now for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. Ogumba Wale elects to not bring it out. At their own 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. From the gun, Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter but we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl on ea sports here's a second and two now from the 33 out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. He's the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? To back good plays have them on the move on first down operating from the gun Brady over the middle he finds Godwin complete and he takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field a big play that time for Tampa Bay. 42 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Brady over the middle and it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll run it with Jones. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Bucks on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Brady. Yeah, he's got it. 
And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sideline. And he's got his tight end, Howard. It's a Buccaneer touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Now Pollard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll throw from the gun. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Lamb. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Prescott from the gun. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Devin White coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott on the crossing route, complete. That's Elliott. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Prescott now. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. 
So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Prescott. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Pass on target. Prescott to Cooper. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 25-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I'm starting to wonder here. Are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. First down now, but the clock continues to move. That really sets him back. A loss of six. The 31-yard line. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. He'll look to throw. And he's going to keep it here. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Jones. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. 17. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.